Hello and welcome to your 10th UDK tutorial and in this tutorial we're just going to go over surface properties. So last time we pretty much put materials in all of our house and it's generally looking pretty good but we really do need to sort a few things out so these pillars don't look right, don't think the outside of our house looks right, just generally the walls and not too sure on the roof. Inside these walls are all just screwed up. Uh, let's see if it looks okay. So well, to change this we use surface properties so let's just select all the outside of a house so just hold control click the different surfaces of course you can also do this just a one surface surface if you so wish but a lot of the time it's something you're going to want to do to multiple surfaces okay so now we have all those selected just in fact let me get a right good view uh, just right click and click surface properties and it says 14 selected because you've got 14 surfaces currently selected so just click that and we have loads of options here now let me just set these back um, pretty much first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to alignment and we're going to choose planar alignment and what this does is it pretty much just aligns it all together really well so it makes everything line up with one another so it aligns it on a similar plane hence planar. So let's just click apply and you'll see immediately that looks a whole lot better but there are way too many lines so to change this we actually need to scale the material so we have scaling over here and one is pretty much the default it's on and that just means that it's at this so if you put it any less it's gonna make it smaller like that so you can see now there's like a million lines and if you put it to like two it's gonna be bigger now I think I'm gonna like it on four. Yeah, I kinda of like that. So we have it on four and that again it looks a lot better, but now we have another problem. They're all leading to other problems. So now we have this random kind of beam flowing around our house at this level, which is a little bit strange. So what we can do is we can now use pan, and this pretty much just means move. So we can move our texture down or up or left or right, so that horizontally or vertically. Now U means horizontally and V means vertically. So let's just go, whoops I didn't mean to do that, and I forgot to mention this but you click the buttons to go different units in different directions and if you shift click it will pretty much just do the opposite direction. So let's just go down, let's see, I kind of want it exactly on the ground. Uh, okay let's go back and let's do some ones, okay that's good, and generally I think that looks pretty good for the outside. So with the outside done, let's just quickly fix this roof. I think this possibly just needs a bit of scaling. So let's give it some planar alignment to start off with. I think that looks a bit better. And let's just scale it to 2. Yeah, that looks nice. So the outside of our house is looking better. Let's just do these pillars because they, they kind of look a little bit strange. It's kind of a pain to select all the surfaces, but oh well. Did I miss one? Yeah. Okay, and uh, I think what we're going to do to this, let's just give it planar alignment and let's also do 0 0.5 and apply that. I think generally that looks a lot better. And let's go ahead and do the same with our other pillars. So this one over here. Okay, that's all covered. So planar, 0.5. And the last pillar over here. Oops. And okay, so planar, 0.5. Let's just click away from these and um, yeah, I think I was looking a lot better. Let's go ahead and go inside our house because whoa, these walls are messed up. Um, the floors align with the walls pretty well. Sometimes you'll need to pan around the floor texture to get it aligned with the walls, but because of the way we designed this, we don't need to. And yeah, let's just change this walls. This walls? These walls. So I'm just going to select everything, including all our window frames. Cool. And uh, this one. And uh, this one. 
Bam, 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 bam. And our door frame. And what are we going to do with this? Well, to start off with, let's do some planar alignment. Yeah, that's looking better. And let's possibly scale it up. The two look okay. Uh, the beam looks a bit giant. Let's just see how it looks if we pan it down. Maybe it looks a bit too big. More? Can we... If we do kind of like a halfway thing. Um, yeah, I think it looks pretty decent. So let's do that like that. Uh, I think that's pretty much fixed up the walls, but then these frames really are still messed up. So, well, first of all, let's do these. And the reason it's, it's kind of messed up is is that the, um, the rotation is all wrong. And for most of these, it should simply be just a 90 degree rotation, like that. So you can see that's kind of fixed up. Um, the problem is, obviously, we have part of the texture then here, so let's just shuffle it around a bit. And same with up here. Um, whoops. Okay, that's cool. And let's do the same with the other window frame. Just give them a bit of rotation and then shuffle them around a bit. So 90 degrees rotation. And let's do a bit of shuffling. Oh, they're both going to be shuffling this time. And you. And you. And you probably would have been easy just to do a reverse there, but oh well. So that's the window frames looking okay. Well, what does the door frame look like? So that's still been messed up. Again, let's just do a bit of rotation. Oh wow, let's just keep that as it is. I like that. Well, let's pan it around a little bit to make it look a tiny bit better. Oh, it's kind of fixed it in all of them apart from this one. <laughs> okay, cool. Does that line up? It does. I like it. I like it. I like it. So we have all of our walls done. We have fixed our window frames. We've fixed our door frame. Fixed the outside of our house. Fixed these pillar textures. And we fixed the roof texture. And I guess we could do something to the floor. But I think generally the floor is looking pretty good. So pretty much surface properties... Anytime you want to edit any texture, also I kind of forgot to mention rotation all that much, but we have 45 degrees material rotation, 90 degree material rotation, custom rotation, then we can flip in a horizontal direction and flip in a vertical direction. So surface properties are really, really useful, and you see our house looks an awful lot better, especially this door frame. I'm really fond of this door frame. It looks an awful lot better, all because we just actually spent some time aligning and doing things with the materials. So that's the end of this lesson, and have a nice day.